Okay, first of all, I'm really sorry to everyone who pronounces it GIF. In this video, I'm gonna be saying GIF the entire way through, but I promise you will still be able to learn something. Let's roll that intro. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how I make work in progress GIFs in Photoshop. And typically when I post on social media of any kind of artwork, I also like to include a small GIF just showing some of the process and how I do my illustrations. So to do that, the first thing I'm gonna do is come up to file and scripts. And inside scripts, we're gonna look for load files into stack. Once I have that selected, go ahead and press browse and we are gonna find all the images we would like to load. In this case, it's these five. Click okay and click okay. Now Photoshop is gonna load all of these in as separate layers in a new document, just like that. And then we're gonna to go to window and timeline. Once we've loaded this in, we can just dock this at the bottom of Photoshop for a little bit more organization. And then I'm gonna press create frame animation. Once that's done, all I have to do is click on this layer icon to load another frame and then deselect or uncheck the top one so we have another image showing through. Go ahead and just repeat that for the rest of them. There we go. So we should have five frames here. Then I'm going to hold shift and click all of them. And where it says zero seconds, go ahead and click that. And this is where we actually get to change the timing of each frame. Typically, I like to leave it at about half a second and the very last one we can hold it a little bit longer two seconds um, over here this is the looping so just make sure it checks forever otherwise once it loops once or three times it'll stop so we want it to keep going and to actually preview the animation we can go ahead and press the play button so each frame moves at half a second and then the very last one holds on for two seconds okay so i'm pretty happy with that then we're going to export this by going to file export and then save for web legacy. Once this is loaded up, we're just gonna go over here and make sure that we've selected GIF. And because GIFs only have 256 colors in, we are going to be losing a little bit of detail, but that's okay. The size of the GIF isn't really gonna be that big anyway, so I like to make it about 700 or so. And go ahead and press save. And I'm just gonna save over one that I made earlier and replace that. Now, if I load it in, you can see we have the GIF. So that's it for this short tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know, or you can find me on Instagram at Daniel Ang Art. And until next time, stay safe.